Hey guys, welcome, welcome. How are we today? Hopefully, my internet is stable. We'll see. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> All right. And as you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I brought the tip goals back. Well, there's goals back. I don't know how visible they are. Let me know if I need to make them bigger, but... Essentially... Uh, there's a tip goal now for a new video card because mine is slowly becoming unable to... ...handle new games, so... Yeah? Kind of the stars, that's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Is this the paradise planet that we found? Yes. Okay. I mean, we could see if we can find a good place here to build a base. Kind of fun to have one on the Paradise Planet. What we want to do is find at least a, um, I mean, I guess I can just hop off and then see if I can explore around here. What the? Planet has living flying saucers. Yeah, I know, right? Look at this. They even like create light. Floating turtle shell slash mushroom top. I mean, whatever they are, they are weird. And the expedition still hasn't started up yet. So. Trying to get down without dying. Hey, to chill, you're awaiting the expedition to go live? Yeah, I know. You know like, I like that you're giving you guys all this chance at the, um, the drops, though, so. Oh my god, it's a scrap. This planet is weird to chill. Look, living flying mush living flying saucers and tunneling scraps. I 
think I might make a base on this planet. This planet is just too weird. Wait. Where'd it go? It's too short. I can't see it. I think it's a fluffy blob monster. No Man's Sky, I've seen weird shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're definitely making our first base on the planet, though. And yeah, I don't know if you guys, like I said, I don't know if I need to make it bigger or not, but there's a, a tip goal right now for a new video card because um, mine is really starting to potentially not meet minimum requirements uh, for some of the games that I want. I guess the big question is, where do we want to build our base on here? On this planet. Oh wait, yes, it is a fluffy blob monster. Oh my God, look at this thing. And there's the scrat. Naked burrowing scrap. Oh. Hedgehog bush blob. I like it. Because I'm gonna make bush blob one word, because I, I like I like the looks of that. <laughs> done and done. Oh wait, this one has water? Does this one actually have water? 
This plant has water. We're gonna go make our base near water. I don't think there's any water. Um. What? Those must be underground. There must be caves here. Or it's that. Why can't I can't see it? Yeah, it's like diving in and out and I can't get it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard. Hey, Gluck! I mean, I... I wanna say I try to go every day, but that's not always possible anymore. But, at least several times a week. This is pretty much all I do, so... At the moment, anyways. I have some other ideas for income, but I have to be careful. Okay. Might have to pick up the baby. I mean, there's a cave, though. How you doing, Pluck? And how are you doing, Tajil? Aside from waiting for the, uh, the expedition. Whoa! Check out this cave! How cool is that? I am good. We went for a walk today. Also, I made pudding. Like from scratch. Doing good. The Gunshin Fontaine stuff is hitting the ball out of the court. Nice. I need to... I, I need to start trying to play some of that a little bit more. Maybe I'll make that my it's the evening and I don't know what I feel like doing thing. Okay. He just wanted me help. He doesn't fall asleep. I'm going to pick him up next time he freaks out. You got Liney on 110 pole in the night. I mean, I have so much stuff in Genshin to do still, so... Okay, rare ground. That's probably the one that was... Okay, give me a second here. Oh, I know! Hang on! Hang on! Better? He's got hiccups, so that's probably why he's a little restless. Genshin is a game with always plenty to do, I know. There you go. I mean, the benefit of Genshin, too, is I can play it upstairs, so. Actually, I don't know if you saw Tachil, but uh, I'm kind of excited for the Warframe cross save that's coming out soon that I saw. It's been a long time since I've played it, but that'll give me a lot more flexibility. <laughs> yeah, I think I might fly. Like, I think we might go into my ship and then see if... Yeah? Going to the ship and then see if there is water here. Because if there is water, 
then I'm gonna make my base kind of near the coast because I just think that's cool. There we go, got it. Yeah. You're right there. I know, right? You did that or he's like, oh god, please make the hiccup stop. It's it's a lot of one, I think. Send the raid mean? It means that when I stop streaming, so I mean, you could do it now, but I don't know when I'm stopping, so uh, the person might not be live. It would let you viewers pick who the raid goes to. I mean, if you can afford it, yeah. But I don't know how long I'm going to be going. I'm probably going to be going for at least three or four more hours. Like, three or four hours. Because I think on Sundays we usually just do leftovers for dinner. So there's no, like... Body's like shaking with the hiccups. <gasps> da -da -da. Welcome, friend. It's cute, baby. He's only like two months old, so he doesn't really. You clearly don't understand us. I'm gonna teach you the most useless word ever. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> it's okay. Woo! Yeah. You're okay. There you go, see? It's so clearly something's upsetting. Oh sh! Get pass the fire down. Here. You just got a new emote, it's nice. Okay, well... I officially have one hand now, so... I know. I know. Here, let's do it with this hand. There we go. Oh, shit. Um, somebody do math for me. What is this one? Is this one that's 720? This is a new one. I don't remember this one. Is... Yeah, that's Comet.
figured it was something like that to chill. I just don't do maths, and I did not have a hand ready for maths. Come in. Hi. I'm sorry. Oh no, he's pouting at me. I hate it when he pouts. No, don't pout. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. The cat behind me is Comet. And I don't have to look because there's only one cat that jumps up on behind my behind my head. I know. I know. You want some more food? You need some more food? No pouting. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you want food? We can do that. We can do that. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, guys. One second. I gotta turn around to... Something inappropriate, but I have to see which side is ready. <laughs> Spin the baby. Spin the baby. Ready? All right. We've got Penguin too, but she kind of just sits with Mux these days. Um. And on all honesty, I don't think she's doing very well. We took her to the vet yesterday. And they're doing essentially a full blood panel. So we're going to have to see what's going on with her. Is this going to help? Is this going to help? Yeah, he's already got a smile on his face, so... There you go. Already had a smile on his face. Before we even started. That burner. I get to try and play with like one arm slightly out of use. Mm -hmm. uh, penguins have been having a lot of trouble keeping weight on, and she's also started getting like a little less steady on her feet. And apparently, she's dehydrated and everything as well, so. She's 17 though, which is like really old for a cat, but it's still not any fun to to think about. I know. Come on. No more? Have okay, you calmed down already? No? No more? There you go. Maybe if I like kind of turn a little bit? There we go. There we go. We found all of the animals. Yeah, I do want to see if there's water on this planet, though. Because if there's water on this planet... Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Come on. Come on. There you go. It's 
totally making a base on this planet, though. The planet is awesome. But yeah, Comet is, there's a Comet Slurp, there's a Tadpole Slurp, and then there's a Penguin High. Penguin is our high emote. She's the one that's old right now, and uh, having some issues right now. There is water on this planet. I can't tell where it is. It's right here. There. You're kind of slipping. Hang on. <laughs> Is that it? You good? Are you, like, not hungry? Whoa. Well. Ow, look, Glow Mommy's here. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. Hang on. <laughs> Are you done? Okay, I mean, he's... He's not acting starving, but he's not. Oh my gosh. Hey. Lip the baby. What's wrong? Uh, can you wash this pacifier? It fell on the floor. <laughs> Hi! It's, it's right over here. Somewhere. Because it's like... This planet looks like it has- oh, maybe it's like on the other side of the planet. Should we try the other side of the planet? look like it has any water which is weird because from here it does thank you i mean he seems okay now but i want to make sure it's good if he's what he's, just, he's like staring at something like it's the most incredible thing in the world right now Cause like you see how like it looks like there's plant there's water on here. I don't see any. Are we going to the other side of the planet? see if there's water or not. Too dark. I'm guessing that there isn't actually water on this planet.
All right, let's go this way then. Might as well go to this distress beacon. Maybe we can get a ship that will either be an upgrade or we can scrap. Oh, and to chill, in terms of the next um, expedition, I need to go through all of my old save games from all the various expeditions and figure out which ones I'm keeping and which ones can be deleted because I have so many save games at this point. Hi! Hi! You wipe the expeditions as each new one arrives? Yeah, I know that though there like there was a couple that me and Mux did together that we actually that like we kinda liked this the place where we spawned. And there was one where I actually caught like what did I call them? Like they're like dragon fishes or something? I can't remember what exactly I called them, but like I got a really cool pen on one that I liked. What's wrong? You're okay. Here. Here you go. You can stay here with mommy. You just gotta, like, stop. This is permadeath, and I almost just got my ass beat by spaceships while I was on the ground. I don't even know why they are attacking me. But they are. Don't drop it on the floor again. Okay, there we go. Starships deleted. And now I lost the ship, didn't I? I just lost the ship that we were going to scavenge. Hey, Reppy, how you doing? I mean, here's... I don't think I can scavenge this one, but I can. How am I? I am good. We've got a restless little one here with us right now, though, so... <laughs> you can help with that. I mean, he's calmed down now, so... Yeah. 
You like the Gex? Charge something. Recharge my life support. I'm on a planet that doesn't require life support. Can I... Find... See if we can see a building. No, I cannot find the building that we were trying to get. No Man's Sky has come a long way. You're so happy to see it. Um, I pre-ordered it and I never regretted it except for one instance. Um, there was a period um, several years ago where they flat out broke it on AMD drivers for two whole years. And AMD was saying that it was No Man's Sky's responsibility to fix. No Man's Sky was saying that it was AMD's fault. And meanwhile, I just couldn't play the game that I was totally loving for two whole years. Two whole years! It was so weird, because I could technically play it, but when you, like, logged in, there was, like, there was no lighting. It was so weird. Oh, this is this place. I don't know if I want to do this yet. Because I do not have a lot of... AMD is always viewed like the stereotypical stepmother. I mean... I have always... Like, ever since I started building my own PCs, I've always preferred... Like, I've always leaned more towards AMD. I did, I've never had a problem with them aside from that. And FSR is now like freaking amazing. Um, actually, there's a there's a vid card tip goal up. I might need to make the tip goals bigger. I'm still trying to decide on that. Um, and uh, that amount, that five hundred dollars, is actually for um, the MSRP of the recently announced. Uh, what is it, Mox? Like the 7800 XT or something like that? Yeah. Which is like, I think, like, that's gonna be like one of the top ones, right? Yeah, like not the top, but it's like one of the top ones. Hunt Showdown has trouble with AMD. I've never had trouble except for when No Man's Sky broke with it for a while, so. So, do you guys think we should make our base on this planet, like, on a mountain? Or, like, in a valley? What do you think? Up high or down low? Get this, it's a bit of a wild one. What you got for us, Reppy? But no, because like 500, that's like what, like almost half the price of the NVIDIA cards? So. Baby has finally fallen asleep. But he's not deep enough for me to actually put him down yet. If I put him down, he's gonna wake up. What do you think? Up high or down low, guys? I'm definitely making a base on this planet. I just haven't decided where yet. I want to do one near caves because that one cave we found was really freaking pretty. So let's go see if we can actually find the cave.
almost falls in the hole. But yeah, Tachili, this is why I call them living UFOs. Like, they glow as well. Like, how crazy is that? For some reason, Hunt Showdown somehow is able to access your AMD driver and not only reset it, but flat out remove it, blocking you from getting it back to the current driver version. You then have to reinstall AMD Adrenaline and update the driver manually. And it's a known issue with Hunt Showdown. I mean, that sounds like that's the game, not knowing how to deal with an AMD driver. Like, that seems like... Seems, that, that, that's like malware level of BS. Oh, pen. That's entirely on the game, yeah. The cry engine can't handle AMD stuff. Uh, the big reason why I want the new video card is because mine arguably will likely not be able to handle Baldur's Gate 3. And I want Baldur's Gate 3. So. Should call it the cringe engine. <laughs> The fuck math is this? I mean, to be fair, I was complaining about how all the puzzles have been the same for the last, like, six years. Um... How does 23 get to 45? You can play Baldur's Gate 3 and you're utterly happy with it. Um, so I'm currently on an RX 570. So, my video, my, like, my CPU and my motherboard and stuff aren't, th aren't terrible, but my video card is, like, way not where it's supposed to be. Times two minus one. I'm, like, I'm not, I, I, the regulars know I don't do math, so. <laughs> Let's see if I can put him down. I think we're good. I think we're good. Speaking of, you really should get back to playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I want to do it so bad. I want to play it so bad. You'll stay in chat a bit you know, longer? Yeah, no worries. I mean... Lurk, pop in, pop out. Do what you gotta do. We don't care here. I just appreciate people that come in at all, really. Any and all support is appreciated. Okay, we're... Last time I tried to do this... Um... A ship attacked me and that's how I lost it. Oh wait, I can tag it! That way if we have to take off again... Then... We won't lose it. I should do, like, the whole Baldur's Gate series to... It's like, I want to do the whole Baldur's Gate series because I got them in... I can't remember if, I don't know if it was a Humble Bundle? Or it might have been... I There was, like, this Steam Bundle once and it was, like, what, 20 or 30 bucks or something for, like, pretty much every Baldur's Gate as well as, like, three or four other games. If I do the entire Baldur's Gate series, I might be here for a while. I mean, this is what I do at the moment, so. May seem a bit entitled for you to say, but it seems I can be quite happy with not playing Baldur's Gate 3 just yet. I mean, it is what it is, but it would be nice if I could play. 
I want to play it so bad. I did um, Divinity Original Sin 2, and it was like one of the most awesome games ever. I mean, this is an, this is an A-class hauler. It's actually not bad. Oh, A-class shuttle. How come this is down, but it's higher than this? This confuses me. I'll probably just scrap this one, but we'll still get it running. Act 3 has a ton of bugs, a lot of performance issues, and it needs to cook a bit longer. Oh no, that's kind of what, like, I, I'm not in a huge rush, although, just because it would have been something where I either did it, like, on release, or I'll wait for it to, like, be fully fixed, maybe have, like, a content update or two, or something like that. Hermetic seal. And then play it. Doing a game like that for me on release, it's also going to be hit or miss as to whether it's actually, um, like, a good idea or not. Because new games like that are always hit or miss when it comes to uh, streaming for small people. Baldur's Gate 3 is the only game in years that you've played straight on release. I've done a few. I did... What did we do? We did Forspoken. Um, I did Stray. Stray was actually an interesting one because I was actually visiting down here back when I still lived in Canada when it came out. And then um, as soon as I crossed the border, I stopped at a gas station or a coffee shop or something so that I could so that I could purchase it and then from my phone start loading it onto my PS5 so that I could play when I got home. Streaming on release can be a big bag. You compete with all the flavor of the month big streamers. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean to chew. So it, it really just depends on whether it's something that like I'm super hyped about. And the regulars might have voice. That's another one, too. Like, I have no doubt that a lot of you guys would probably not watch much if I did Baldur's Gate 3, because you probably want to get through it yourself first. And then watch me play and do stupid shit while you sit there, like y'all always do, and just, like, laugh at me. Which I'm okay with. I mean, why else do I do this, you know? <laughs> I mean, if that's what gets people going on here. You think it's fine with around 17,000 endings? Spoiler seems a bit out there. I mean, there can be some small spoilers. Like, for example, Mux was watching a video about it and he did give me, like, almost like a minor tiny spoiler, but it's something that I probably wouldn't want to watch anyways, so he's, you know, going to warn me about it when it comes up. But. I mean, I think that's one reason though why regulars like watching me play games like that, though, is because you guys all got the endings that you wanted. Or at least a ending with the playthrough that you wanted. And then... You know, watching somebody else get something completely different or the exact same thing can be pretty cool, so. But yeah, no, I mean, I'm not, obviously I'm not in too much of a rush to get Baldur's Gate 3 anyways because, well, my computer likely would not be able to handle it. I mean, even with No Man's Sky, it's like every update they add stuff to make the game more rich 
but then that means that my graphics card is slowly, slowly learning to hate this game. You're planning on four playthroughs, so you might be busy for a while. If you played a fair amount and watched several playthroughs where things are at the same point you are, you have yet to see something that is really the same. I mean, I've seen some, I think that's one reason why I want to play it. Um, I mean, obviously, I, like, I just want to play it because I like games like that, but um, I see so many people playing it and I don't want to risk spoilers or something where it's like, oh no, I need to make sure I avoid that outcome, so I'm not going to do X, right? Whoops. Um, but so many people on my list are playing it right now. So. I mean, the, the new video card, though, it's not just for Baldur's Gate 3. Um, the video card that we have in mind, the 7800 XT, um, it would be capable of doing the GPU rendering in uh, Blender, which my current video card cannot do GPU rendering. Um... I also have a 4K monitor that I can't really even remotely take advantage of right now. So... Like, not until I get a GPU upgrade, so that's another reason. Oh, Refi, don't get me started on that stuff. I had a lot of fun playing uh, Cyberpunk, but... They made it seem like it was this big, like, branching storyline where your choices mattered and, um, you know, so many different ways to play. And in the end, so much didn't really matter. <laughs> oh, like, I, I love the, like, don't get me wrong, like, I love playing it. It was a hell of fun game to play like especially because i went like what did we do we did uh i built shotguns and sword arms like fire sword arms so we were we essentially would just run in and blitz everything and it was awesome it was awesome <laughs> uh and then i think and then i think yeah like i think i like really focused on like the hacking and stuff too so, but yeah, like, it, it, it didn't have, like, the RPG choices matter aspect that I felt like they really had pitched to begin with. Hey, Mascal, how you, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, crap. I need chromatic metal, which means we need copper. Even Witcher 3 had choices with no real consequences. I different endings in Witcher 3. But, yeah, I don't remember it being quite, like, this big, like, branching thing that I feel like I expected, necessarily. You should have taken a 3D modeling course as a theme for today. I mean, Mezcal! Um... Different endings come down to like four or five key choices. Yeah. Um, for your project, wh like, what are you more comfortable with? Because, uh, like, I was just kind of talking to my husband a little bit about stuff. And, like, why don't you just start with, like, a very basic prototype with, like, placeholder animation, uh, models and animations, if you're more comfortable with the, the actual programming aspect. Speaking of 3D modeling, though, I started, um, I did a little bit more work on my mascot today, and he's got, like, the, the cat is almost ready to start sculpting. I'm kind of excited. I just need to stick ears on it, and then I can start sculpting it. Well, 3, you weren't able to save an NPC, which in turn locked you out of a massive side quest, which in turn then 
impacted the main story. It was crazy to see that and so immersive. Nice. Rafi, you are not helping though my my need to hold off on the game though. <laughs> You're back, luck. No worries. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know. You feel like you have to know everything? I mean, you don't have to. Um, but it's not even necessarily about, like, what you will eventually know, Matt. It's about what you currently feel the most comfortable with. You know, start with something that will give you, like, kind of confidence and make you feel like you've been productive and getting progress done. That way, you've got something to look back onto and be like, yeah, this is going great, you know? Also, Mascal, I'm like totally serious. If you want some help with the 3D modeling, I will totally help um, in exchange for, you know, future credit and profit, if it goes anywhere. And if it doesn't, then I'll just take the credit. <laughs> no need to know it right now. As long as you get better, it's already a massive achievement. Well, that's kind of what I mean. It's like, start with what you know currently. Like, I mean, so much of, because there is a lot to 3D modeling. And in terms of your whole, like, I have to know everything, um, I'm in a Discord channel where um, I actually found out one of the people used to work at Pixar. And uh, when I showed them my Dancing Ogre, which I know at least some of you guys have seen, um, they were actually extremely impressed because they said that even at, like, at places like Pixar, not only does, like, one person not do everything, but, like, you'll have one person that does the modeling, then you'll have one person that does the retopple, then you'll have one person that does the, the, like, the coloring or the texturing, then you'll have one person that does the rigging, then you'll have one person that does the animations, then you'll have one person that does the lighting, and then you'll have like five people that put it all together so our journey the journey is the goal type of deal yeah I mean, this could be a cool place to make a base. We could, like, go down into this cavern. Build it around the cavern and then, like, go into the cavern. That'd be kind of cool. Ask us for asking for help. Everything requires monetary aid to help create. Comes out of your pocket. Which isn't that easy. Oh no, trust me, like, I get that. But that's why I say, like, you know, credit or future. Like, do what you gotta do, right? Because, I mean, trying to do everything yourself will most, like, I don't want to be like a bummer or anything, but I could see that getting very overwhelming. What do you guys think of, like, making the base here? And then, like, Let's actually see if there's any power nearby, though. There's no power nearby, though. This would have been such a cool place for a base. Okay. Going by 2020 Pixar is more than 1,200 employees. Well, but the, I mean, 
teach me that, like, you know... Especially if the goal is to create something kind of... Um... Like... Detailed. I guess detailed is the way to explain, to say it. As opposed to going for like, kind of like, you know, like a Minecraft or a Roblox look. But if the goal is to make something very detailed, it's gonna be probably very difficult to do it on your own. Hey, babe, how you doing? Most polarizing game ever made. Are you kidding? This is like, I think this is almost universally co considered... Um, uh, the best game comeback of all time at this point. Oh, shit! Help! Woo! Um, I, I, I didn't expect a hole there. <laughs> no Man's Sky is such an underdog comeback story that's kind of magical. I know, right? I mean, I've always loved it. What the hell is that? Like, icon. What is that triangle icon? The fuck is that? That's new. Especially if, if you consider the office was flooded and they almost had to serve. Yeah, um, we I posted it in my Discord at one point, but Mux found this, um, found a, uh, a documentary about... Um, the creation of No Man's Sky and, like, a little bit about Sean and his experience. I have no idea, Fluff. It's not quite a doc It's not quite a documentary, but it is. Um. And essentially, like, the guy? Zero. Like, you're taking, essentially, probably what would be, like, me. Like, some, like, shut-in who's planning to spend most of their, like, time working on a side passion project where, you know, right now I've got maybe, like, one or two people I could get to help me help me out with it, right? Which is kind of how he started. Like, and then imagine if I had like, somebody like Sony or Microsoft be like, yo, this is great. You want, like, you, you want, like, five million dollars and we'll, like, <laughs> you can be, be like, you, we'll, we'll help, we'll, we'll plug you and everything, and it's like, how do you not get even more excited about your project and what you want from it and all of that, you know? And so he just, he ended up talking about what he wanted as opposed to what he had ready already, and, um, that's kind of, I think, what a lot of people didn't account for, right? Is that he just like he didn't he really didn't know what he was doing and like from what I've ga I gathered too like he wasn't the most social person either so you get people gotta finish off the evening you're already trying not to spend too much time on a model at once otherwise you'll burn out again no worries. And now Larian is under attack by game devs. It's just a massive clown show. Yeah, and Mux actually watched another video. I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen it, Rafi, because if you found the same one that he did about No Man's Sky, where the guy essentially was shitting on all the people that were saying, like, how dare Larian set a new standard? Like, and just think of, like, the budget they had for this. It's like, see, they're like a small little arguably indie, like, just above indie studio. Like, you're telling me that 
Microsoft can't can't pull the same resources? <laughs> What budget? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, well, let's go back to my ship then. And we'll see if I can find a power. Oh, no, Clock. I was just talking about... Because, um... Mazgel's working on a game. So I was just kind of using it as a example. Like, there, there's no way I'd be good enough to be picked on. But, to do my own little shit? Or, like, you know... I might try to try and get some stuff on the, like, the Unity or, um... Fuck, what's the other? Unreal asset shops and that kind of thing. No one can ever be happy and praise something that always has to be someone else's fault. <laughs> yeah. The most fun with- Oh, but they are such a big studio coming from Bungie and Blizzard. <laughs> well, it's even like stuff like- I still have no interest whatsoever in Diablo th uh, 4, to be honest. Like, none at all. And it sounds like other people are slowly starting to realize that maybe they shouldn't have had any interest either. <laughs> I know some people like it, and I'm not faulting people that like it. Because I know that I've seen some people in my channel and stuff what, playing it and stuff. But... Once you're in the end game, have fun grinding one and the same activity for 100 hours. Well, and one of the things that I actually really liked about um, Diablo 3 were, like, the rifts and stuff, and the greater rift. Like, I love trying to push that kind of stuff, like, as far as I can. So... Like, that's the kind of stuff that I find fun. Or no, the, okay, so the two reasons that I play a Diablo game are for, um... Like, I know, I know of many people that love the Diablo games, and, like, I'm not gonna fault anybody for that, because, I mean, everybody's welcome to like what they want. Right? Um, but what I feel always made Diablo games Diablo games and fun for me were the procedural map generation and the whole idea that you could run through a map and you could potentially have um, like hundreds of enemies surrounding you and then like, it's essentially, it's almost like the original Swarm Battler, right? That's what Diablo, at least to me, is. But it's like, how can you, even if they had that many monsters, how can you have that same feel? Um, when it comes to an online game, you can't, because at any minute... Somebody could come in and just wipe out the the mass that you were collecting for yourself. I heard about that, Refi. I heard about that. About how... About how the stash size was limited because otherwise it would crash people's games. 